Getting ready to go live. Going live in X moments. Okay, here we go. Hello, hacksters. Welcome to Fundum Friday. I'm very excited about today's package because I think I know what it is. It's from Cod Supply. Did they stick the sticker on the side as usual? No. Ooh! Ha! Oh! Oh! <laughs> My suspicions are confirmed. Um. So Daryl has a habit of putting stuff on the outside of the package that it like gives you a clue about what's inside. And uh, in this case, there's a pie and some, some orange juice, it looks like. So I guess it's highly likely that my, my suspicion that this is about the pie juice is confirmed. Not only that, but underneath this label there appears to be a zero. It is the pie juice zero. And that means that I've pulled up the right stuff on the browser. So yay! Haha, <laughs> I have some evil plans for this. <laughs> um, oh, this is not. There we go. Yes, page juice zero on crowd supply. I've just been reading about this and it's a really badass board. So there's a pie juice that you might already be familiar with, um, created by Pie Supply. Uh, they're the manufacturer, but this is their first, I believe, uh, project on crowd supply itself. And there's 30 days left to back this guy, and they are about halfway to their goal. You can get one of the pie juice boards. Pie Juice Zero or the original Pie Juice hat board by itself um, for everyone who already has all the other gear and stuff for $45. Um, but let's actually figure out what's inside here first off. I'm very excited about this because I'm a huge fan of solar power and demystifying it and making it easy for people to explore. So. I've also got a bunch of other stuff on this desk because I was, I'm preparing, as you will see, uh, a use for this already. Usually I have to like wait a while before I figure out what I want to use something for, but in this case it's pretty clear cut. Um, if, if I can stack this with another hat, which I'm not sure about, uh, that might actually require a little finagling, but it would be, it would make me really happy if I can do the project I want to do with this. Okay. So in here we've got, as expected, a little LiPo battery, 1200 milliamp hours. Um, cool. We need to focus. There we go. Um, nice. Let's open it up. I think this one has three wires. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's wired already with a connection to the thermistor, which is something you don't always see on LiPo batteries, but it's useful for the... Uh, Oh, I see it opens on the side. No, it doesn't. Um, for the the board to be able to tell, you know, keep a monitor on the battery itself. So you've got power ground and then that thermistor wire. Cool. Pretty beefy. It says liter energy battery. I don't think there's a liter of energy in here. I don't think that's even the right unit. But, uh, sure. Can't see that because the focus is off. There we go. Anyway. Here is the, yay, here's the Pi Juice Zero. Look how pretty it is. It's got this whole like nice environmental, like outdoor uh, sunny scene going on. You've got uh, a little diagram of here's the way that it connects to like, for example, a solar panel. I'm going to fix the focus. This is terrible. There we go. And yeah, on the it says submit your ideas and find new community paid made product checks <laughs> projects. Uh, hashtag pie juice uh, at pie supply, but we are at piejuice.com and pie-supply.com, and you can also get it on Crowd Supply, of course. See your pie zero, f or set your pie zero free with pie juice zero, so you can you know if you hook up your Pi Zero to batteries and you'll be able to run it anywhere in the world. Beautiful smart portable power for the Pi Zero using an onboard battery that can be charged from both mains and solar. The Pi Juice comes complete with our revolutionary Pi Anywhere technology, the best way to take your Pi off the grid. When plugged into any source, the Pi Juice acts as an uninterruptible power, uninterruptible power supply, <laughs> using intelligent power management to keep your Pi going. Pi Juice will also stay charged, so you can take your projects with you anywhere, uh, besides charging the battery when you are plugged in. Duh. Uh, with an onboard real-time clock, programmable LEDs and switches, user-friendly software, and much more, 
Uh, PyJuice gives you maximum control and flexibility for all your projects wherever you take them. You can go to pyjuice.com for more info. And inside you've got a zero board, the info card, mounting hardware, and stickers. Ooh, stickers! <laughs> it's your classic thing, you know, you, get, you give a cat like a, a shiny new toy and, uh, and all they want to do is play with the box. I'm like, ooh, it's stickers. Here's your a little uh, connector guy for a battery that you, if you have your own battery. Mounting hardware, um, so little nylon standoffs and screws. Nice. And then we have the info card. You're awesome. Sales at PySupply.com. And then stuff about the manufacturing. Uh, and a Pie Supply sticker. Fantastic. And of course the main event itself. Let's get this box out of the way. Because it's got more stuff in it. Which is exciting. But ooh. Ooh. Huh. Interesting things left in the box there actually. Um, yeah. Boop -ba -doo. Um... Info cards, sticker, lipo battery. And here we have the thingy itself in its little anti-ESD bag. They're a cute little, <laughs> get ready to create something awesome. We've got a spot there if you want to, I guess, put like a name tag on it or something. <laughs> so the other kids don't run off with your pie juice. Zero. Look at that. Pink board. Uh, makes me think of like watermelon juice. Ugh, now I want watermelon juice. It's got these interesting pass-through headers. I'm not sure if that's what they're called, but you can go in from either side, which makes it way easier to uh, to mount in weird ways, I think. So, for example, I have a... Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly how you would mount this. I guess from the bottom, and then... Huh. Hmm. Huh. Uh, I guess that makes it shorter, doesn't it? I have the Matrix voice board which also has some headers with these on the bottom and it made it more uh, workable for my application because I was able to wire some stuff from the bottom instead of the top. In this case this is the 40 pin header for the Pi itself so I'm curious about use cases where you would actually do that but I guess you um, wonder if you mount it on top this way or that way. Let's find out. Oh aha yes you mount the Mounted on top of the Pi Zero, and it's just very low profile because of that. Check it out. You don't need like an entire female header on the bottom there. You just sort of shrimp it on the top, and uh, it'll be really easy. In fact, I have, oh right, the Pi I have here uh, has a couple of foibles. For example, I soldered on the headers at a bit of an unfortunate angle, and so it could be a little bit difficult to get that actually mounted on all the way properly. But uh, for other pies that you actually soldered the headers on properly, you shouldn't have that issue. <laughs> let's look back at, oh, no, let's look at the other stuff in the box, because I'm really curious. So this is, it says PyJuice 12,000 milliamp hour battery. Nice, so this is 1,200, that's why I got confused. Uh, I thought this said 1,200 as well, like, what's going on there? No, 12,000 milliamp hours. And I think this is, the, whoa, I've actually never worked with a LiPo this big. Whoa, look at that. That's ridiculous. It's a large battery. And this is, you know, you could leave this out for ages, not just uh, on a single charge, but perpetually. If, for example, you hook it up to the... Last thing in the box which is a PyJuice solar panel, 22 watts. Beautiful. Um, a Pi Supply product, it says in the corner. This same sort of maroon coloring. It's very nice on the box. Let's get some more brightness up here, yes. Um, cool. Open this up. I've got some loud high heels on the floor above me. Open here, it says, but first, what's on the back? What's inside? Solar panel, USB cable, and user manual. Not got your Pi... <laughs> this is very British. Not got your Pi Juice module? Pick one up today, in-store, or online. It's designed for use with the Pi Juice power platform for your Raspberry Pi. It has two regulated 5-volt USB outputs. Two of them! So it also works with your smartphone, tablet, audio players, and more. You can even charge two devices at once. Wow! Nice. Nice, nice.
They're picturing it here with a pie already inside, I think. Yeah. Huh. Oh, let's open where it says open here. We'll open it there. Wow. It has a wonderful sleeve, protective sleeve that it comes mounted in. Uh, you'll probably want to leave it in there. I think that's probably how the, all the all the panels are connected and stuff. Oh, it smells like it smells like uh, technology. <laughs> wow, look at this! It's embroidered and everything. A really nice solar panel. I'm not used to this kind of light. You got a little pocket in here for USB cable, and that's where your little hub is mounted. Where your two USB outs. Wow, this is so nice. This is so nice. Look at these. Okay, these also um, they have a very uniform look. They are mounted under some sort of slightly diffusing uh, material here. The plastic protective plastic but what they look like to me I could be wrong but they kind of look like the monocrystalline cells which are the highest efficiency very pretty look at it it's got four panels and you can just hang it wherever because it's got these grommets on it check that out you could just put that on top of a tent or on your car dashboard. That would be really easy, actually. This is kind of perfectly sized for a car dashboard. Um, you would have to make sure to keep your batteries out of the sun. That's <laughs> a lesson that I learned <laughs> very recently. <laughs> uh, then I had to call the hazardous waste disposal department. <laughs> anyway, yeah, be nice to your batteries. But yeah, you, you could easily stick a USB little guy in here and um, uh, and by that I mean cable little guy means cable now <laughs> and uh, you know run that to whatever you wanted to keep in your glove box or whatever uh, there is this little info sheet what does this say 22 watt solar panel did we already read this no 5.5 volts slash 22 watt watts um, which means that it's 4 amps. A uh, single USB max output is 12 volt, watt, twelve watts. So that's like 1.4 amps per, uh, like in a single USB uh, max output because watts is your voltage times your amperage. Uh, dual USB charging, built-in smart power chip, size and weight, da 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 da, yeah. It's not, it's really not very heavy at all. Boxed and unboxed. Like, what box are we talking about here? Like, the, the, the box it came in? No, that doesn't make sense. Um, but anyway, curious. Maybe they do mean the physical, actual box, because, eh. Anyway, because uh, they have, yeah, specific dimensions for it. This is really cool. Wow, what a pretty thing. Solar power is so aesthetically pleasing. Oh yeah, actually, it's fun on Friday. A couple of weeks ago, I did an interview with uh, Crystal Persaud about her window solar charger, which you should totally uh, check out because I bet they're still gonna be selling them even though they massively surpassed their goal and got to $70,000 just the other day. It was very exciting. Um, you can check out our interview with Crystal about Group Hug Tech, which is her company, and the Windows Solar Charger and industrial design and all kinds of good stuff. Pardon me, stuff like that. Um, just from a couple weeks ago, if you look at uh, hacks.io slash videos. It's so pretty. Uh, yeah. Solar power is a wonderful thing, and it also can be very attractive. Mm, so, more info about this. Intelligent portable battery power for your Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, they have some possible use cases on here. For example, portable Pi, Raspberry Pi portable games, console, point and shoot camera, weather station, compact robot, and many, many more. I was thinking about building a robot with this, but what I really want to do now, actually, is uh, combine it, if possible, this may not be possible, but with some of the uh, pie supply, this one's kind of squashed, 
Laura Nodes. So you have, they recently did their own um, crowdfunding for uh, their IoT Laura Nodes and also the gateway that's for the Pi. So if I could have like a solar powered um, gateway that hooks up all my little Laura nodes to the Things Network or whatever it would be, then that would be pretty fantastic. Because what I want is to have like a central, um, you know, gateway like this. And then they sent me a micro bit one, I think. Um, there's one for the micro bit. There's one for the Pi Zero, and there's one here for the uh, Arduino, like a. IoT LoRa node shield. So here's the micro bit one. And I haven't had a chance to use these yet because I've been trying to figure out the best way to power them and stuff like that, which I think that I'm going to mount, for example, the micro bit one on my bike uh, and have it do air quality biking around the city. I think it'd be really cool. Uh, I could have various air quality sensors around different parts of the city, like office, home, bike. That could be interesting, or um, you know, have different types of sensors in different places, like maybe one in my garden or something like that. That could be a really cool application. Um, back to the internet. So, oh yeah, speaking of the internet, uh, I think it'd be also really cool to run just a little solar-powered website. And there's actually already an example of this. If you go to lowtechmagazine.com, uh, they have a version of their site that runs off of solar power on a little tiny computer. It's not a Raspberry Pi. It's a... Uh, do -do -do -do. About the site. What is it? Um... <laughs> what hardware do you use? An Olamex A20 computer. But I could totally do a solar-powered Raspberry Pi website server, I think. And look at this, in the bottom uh, right of the site, they show the server stats, including like its location in Barcelona, the local time there, and the battery status, which is currently 72%. You can also see up on the side there, uh, is always present whenever you're scrolling around on the site and the uptime. So it's been up for four weeks, uh, two days and a few hours. And it shows how much power it uses and stuff like that. This is, this is just a super cool idea that I came across a while ago. And I would love to do something similar. <laughs> they have a whole, uh, if you're interested in this actually, they have a whole page on questions that they have that you could help with as a member of the community if you happen to know about this stuff. Like how to further compress the images while maintaining the visual quality and stuff like that. And how to do comments. For example, right now you have to email your comments to the site. And yeah. So I think that would be a really cool thing to do with the Pi Juice Zero. It would be a little slow. Like right now, part of the reason that I'm uh, not going to go through everything I wanted to with this broadcast is that the... Uh, oh, hey! It's finally up to date, actually. <laughs> the Pi Zero takes a bajillion years to update um, after you first set it up, and it's really slow at pulling down information. By contrast, like, working with the Pi 4 is a dream. But yeah, let's go to key features. So it's compatible with any single-cell LiPo batteries, including their custom Pi Juice batteries. Um, it's got, as they mentioned, an, pardon me, an integrated RTC so that you can keep server time with it, um, and you can also easily track uptime. So the clock is not dependent on uh, processor speed or cycles, it's based on actual the world time. <laughs> You've got an on-off switch, I love on-off switches, low power deep sleep state with a wake-on interrupt or cal calendar event. You can have a site that only goes up every once a week or something and people have to check it. Uh, you've got two programmable multicolored RGB LEDs and a bunch of other stuff. So part of the, oh yeah, uh, the power management API includes auto shutdown capability when it's lo running low on batteries, which is pretty cool. Uh, another cool thing is that they designed their own software that you can use apt-get to obtain on your Pi, which is what I'm going to be doing next on this Pi that I have here. Um, Oh yeah, they tell you all about what's on the board and then you can also see it uh, on their GitHub. 
go to PySupply slash PyJuice on GitHub and they have this full rundown on both the original PyJuice and the PyJuice Zero. Um, and they give you kind of a rundown on what all the different buttons do. The Zero, as compared to the original PyJuice hat, has but one button, uh, where the original one has also two user programmable buttons that can do to uh, you can use to uh, trigger user scripts and things like that. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, the software suite. So you can install this stuff uh, on the Pi using apt-get as per usual. And uh, let me bring this back just to make sure that we're in the right place. Yes. Um, It'll also give you more control over the hardware. But look at this, you have a battery monitor meter in your top toolbar, just like on a regular computer. That's uh, where the blue arrow is pointing in this picture here. And you get this extra option in the preferences. You can install it either as a graphical interface or just to be accessed via the command line to keep everything sort of really light. And so, for example, they have the uh, pyjuice-base versus pyjuice-gui, so you can just pick the bits you want. Um, yeah, and as, as with all the rest of the stuff, that's also available for you to fork and play with on their GitHub page. Just go to pyjuice, github.com slash pysupply slash pyjuice. They also have the data sheets for the chips that they use. For example, the, the microcontroller on there is an STM32. Uh, F030, whichever version of this is that they <laughs> mention on the page. And they've also got some comparisons with other uh, similar things. So for example, the PyJuice hat and the PyJuice Zero are listed on there, as well as a couple of other ones. Oh, pardon me. Ah, I should not be this sleepy. <laughs> but yeah, you can compare them to the other options that are out there on the market, including, yeah prices and stuff. This one is marginally less expensive than the uh, the full pie juice hat, but it's a little bit more with shipping. Uh, they talk about their manufacturing plan. They've already, again, Pie Supply is a really established company, uh, so they've done these gorgeous LoRa modules in the past. They've got these, obviously they already have prototypes of this one. I think they called it the golden, what do they call it, the golden uh, prototype or something, golden example. Oh yeah, and a ton of cool support and documentation. Um, they have some examples already published for things with the PyJuice hat, like the Nature Juice, uh, Power Outage Monitor, Wildlife Camera, and things running on a dashboard. Yeah! Uh, Pyote Juice on Windows IoT Core. They've also done very successful crowdfunding campaigns in the past. The original PyJuice Kickstarter. Uh, which was 1,200% funded. That's ridiculous. 12 times funded. Uh, and you can also get some like that and some of their other accessories online on pi-supply.com. You can also get that by clicking buy now on the old Kickstarter. <sighs> and um, you can find also their IoT LoRa stuff on pi-supply.com. So a while ago, I did kind of a mega unboxing for a bunch of crowd supply stuff, and that included this, which is the the Maker Power Solar. It's another option from uh, Crowd Supply that is not yet available, but will also make uh, it much easier to power your IoT devices. I have not yet had a chance to really play around with this because I haven't had the right type of solar panels available, but it's a pretty small device that's really, you know, it's not Pi specific, it's for all kinds of different devices. You just always have to make sure that your your available solar panels are hooked up in a way that will be compatible with what your device expects. And so a lot of Adafruit solar resources are designed to work with um, six volt systems based on the the uh, panels that they, that they sell. But also I built this solar bowler hat the name is by my colleague Nick, uh, who just had the perfect name for it, um, which you can also find on Hexter. This is an these are this is made with Adafruit 
solar panel badges that are five volts each and you can just hook them up together. We also did a feature on this little uh, janky cheap solar slash crank power uh, LED flashlight which you can convert to power all kinds of stuff off of 3.2 volts. So these are some other options that you have but honestly you know all of these are there's other options too but the ones that we've covered so far are not sort of as plug and play as this guy. This is really just like ready to go out of the box for your Raspberry Pi and you can get matching batteries and solar panels and everything all in one place so it's really easy to get started and I um oh I'm so stoked to get started with this. Ah, I'm gonna mount it inside the windows on the other side of our office which is where all the sun always comes in later in the day and I'm gonna run a server on it. You know it I might not be able to get the LoRa stuff up and running immediately or maybe ever in the way that I'm expecting to, but I'm sure it'll lead to something cool and maybe I'll just like start serving a very simple page um, for now to sort of emulate that uh, that low-tech magazine website, which I think is so cool. It's just fun to play around with like how you can do things that are super low power. Oh. Pardon me. Well, it's Friday. I'm falling asleep. It's time to take a nap. <laughs> um, I hope you have enjoyed this solar edition of Fundum Friday, and I will see you soon. Hack on. Oh, questions. Facebook questions before we go. Let's see. Any comments? I'm going to delete some of these. <laughs> uh, Sergio says, I envío a Mexico. Uh, Mexico. And um, we should find out. Do they send, do they ship to Mexico? We'll find out. Uh, Aziz says, win, win, win. Fantastic. Yes, I think uh, this is winning for everyone. All right. Uh, yeah. Catch you soon.